We've all had a bad haircut experience. You go into your barber, they cut your hair, and you look at it and you're like, how the hell did they just mess that up? As someone who's had tons of hairstyles and tons of hairstyles completely ruined, it is time for me to pass down the information so you don't make the same mistakes that I did growing up and how to avoid those bad haircuts altogether. Something that took me a long time to understand was that you cannot just point at a haircut on your phone, show it to your barber, and they will copy and paste it onto your head. There's so many things to take into account. And so I want you guys to take the advice of your barber. If they say that they think this might look better with what you have, do that. Because if you try to force them to do a haircut that they don't think is going to look good on you with your head shape, with your head texture, listen to them. Otherwise, you're just going to end up with a miserable haircut. They know how your hair will lay. They know the kind of texture and weight and length of the hairstyle that you're going for and how much that's going to suit you and what your genetics are for that kind of hairstyle. A broccoli top haircut with the sides completely shaved, for example, wouldn't look good on me because my hair is too thick and bulbous on top. And so that kind of hairstyle suits a different hairstyle, hair texture, and hair type. And so you have to understand what you have what's at your disposal in your genetics and there's only so much that you can do the second tip to never have a bad haircut is use the right products so many people don't know what products they're using they'll either just take a random pomade and just run it through their hair perhaps they're just using the completely wrong product all i use is sea salt spray because that's what i found worked with my hair thickness my hairstyle and my personal preference however that might not do anything for you if you guys are enjoying this content, drop a like down below to let me know you enjoyed these videos. Also, comment on your worst haircut experience ever. Everyone has one. Let's hear yours down in the comments below. So whether you have the best haircut ever or the worst haircut ever, a product that's right for you and your hairstyle can completely make or break your hairstyle. If you cannot replicate what they're doing at the barbershop, it doesn't matter how good of a haircut they did. It doesn't matter how good of a cut they did. If you don't have the right products, it's not going to look the same. Literally, before you even leave the barbershop, ask them, say, hey, thanks for the haircut. I appreciate it. What products did you use to make it look like this? How can I do that? And you don't have to buy the products there. Go at Walmart, go on Amazon and find something cheaper. Find something that's in your budget. You don't have to get it from that barbershop. But look at the type. Are they saying a pomade? Are they saying a clay, a mousse, hairspray, sea salt? clay i don't know if i already said clay and they'll be able to advise you best on what's going to work with your hairstyle that you're going for so you don't have to experiment and spend tons of money on random products that you don't need my third tip to never having a bad haircut is to research your face shape depending on your face shape if it's an oval a circle a square triangle diamond trapezoid octagon that will greatly impact what hairstyles look good on you for example if your head shape is a circle a rounder hairstyle isn't going to look good on you because you're already accentuating the round features that you already have so you want something to contrast that so when it comes to head shapes as you guys can tell i have an oval head shape so naturally my hair is going to want to start curving down like this you can see it's getting round so to help combat that and give myself a more contrasty look and more edges on my hair i always ask them to cut above my cheekbones right here i have high cheekbones so i always want my bangs and my sides this allows my hairstyle and my face to have a more angular shape. And that's what I found personally works for me and my head shape and my hair texture and what I got going on. So you guys have to do the same. If you have a square head, a square hairstyle with a lot of edges isn't going to look right. You need something to round out those edges on your face. And also, if you don't know, just ask your barber and they'll be able to guide you in the best direction. And lastly, the best way to never have a bad haircut is to bring in a picture of someone who has similar hairstyle and texture as you. If you bring in a picture of a dude with curly, thin hair and you have thick, straight hair, good luck. You're gonna have a miserable time and an even worse haircut. And the barber's probably gonna tell you, dude, that's not your hair, don't even go for that. And that's what it comes down to, to having a bad haircut is not being prepared. So what you wanna do is be prepared. Find the hairstyles that work for you, find the head shapes that work for you, find the products, and also have a picture to go along with it. I can't tell you guys how many times a picture has saved my life. Chances are you can't explain what hairstyle you want. So always bring a picture for reference. I always download like three to five pictures on my phone of different haircuts in a similar style that I want. They're similar enough, but they're not the exact same thing. So the barber has some leeway and some creativity and has also some room for input on which one might look better for my head shape, my 
hair texture, etc. Whether these tips seem obvious to you, they definitely were not obvious for me my entire life. I always wanted that exact haircut on my phone, no exceptions, no ifs, ands, or buts. I wanted that hairstyle copy and paste that onto my head like I'm in a GTA barbershop. And it never worked out for me. I always was miserable and I cried when I was younger because the haircut turned out nothing like I wanted it to because I didn't have the right head shape, face shape, and hair texture to make that hairstyle look good as it did in the pictures. So at the end of the day, you have to work with what you have and also trust that the barber is gonna know best what's gonna work best for you as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video down below and share down in the comments what your worst hairstyle and the haircut experience was. And with that being said, if you guys wanna check out other videos on my channel, feel free to check through them right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in that next one.